Well, hello again, and welcome to our channel here, Driving at Home. Today, we wanted to talk about the insane prices that cars are bringing these days. Um, I don't know about you, but when I've gone about looking at cars, whether it's online or in the dealership themselves, the prices are out of this world. And they don't seem to be willing to bring those prices down, at least not yet. You probably have seen some of the earlier videos we've done where we've tried to negotiate with some dealers and they have not been very willing to come down on their price. Oh, yes, they'll throw you a bone. We'll bring it down $500 on your $20,000 car. In the past, you could get a much better bargain if you were willing to negotiate, which, again, on some of the prior videos, you've seen how we do that and you've learned how to do that. Maybe you're already a seasoned negotiator. In any case, it's always nice to check in to see what kind of special tips we have on our prior videos. But let's get into this news article that we see here from Yahoo Finance, Dateline today, <clears throat> April 7th, 2023. It's Good Friday for those of you that are observing that holiday. And they're saying the U.S. car market has shifted into lower gear in only a matter of months. After average car prices hit record highs as recently as last summer, some analysts now predict that an oversupply of vehicles will lead to a price war that sends prices plummeting. They say a recent report from UBS estimates that global car production will exceed sales by 6% this year, leaving an excess of 5 million vehicles that will require price cuts to get sold off of lots. That's what Yahoo Finance is reporting. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm taking this with a huge grain of salt because I've seen where experts, so-called experts, have been wrong before, and this may be the case again. However, if you have any way of delaying an automobile purchase, it's probably in your best interest to delay that purchase and wait to see what this market does because there are so many things going on and shifts in the market that are happening that you might as well wait because I don't see the prices really going up that much although again they could so your guess is probably as good as mine on this but they go they go on to say although those price cuts might not happen until the latter half of 2023. Automakers are preparing for a price war. And some electric vehicle makers are already slashing prices. I wonder who they're talking about there. Maybe some car maker that starts with a T. Given the bullish production schedules, we see high risk of overproduction and growing pricing. pricing uh, easy for me to say. Pricing pressure as a result, UBS said in a note to clients. The price war has already started unfolding in the EV space, and we expect it to spread into the combustion engine segment. And that is news and welcome news to our ears because we are not necessarily opposed to electric vehicles, but we do not foresee a great demise of the combustion engine for a while here just because of enthusiast demand as well as other sources of demand for such a long-lasting reliable form of vehicle um, power. So they're talking about that happening during the second half of 2023 for the uh, price war to continue. So here in April, you know, we are 
likely going to see a continued uh, thrust from the automakers to continue a price war, which is always a welcome uh, development for us consumers that are just looking to get a good deal. So let's go on. Makers of family cars are most likely to suffer from price cuts, the analyst said, while luxury car makers are expected to hold up better. Again, another win for us folks that are not necessarily made of money and are looking to get a decent deal on a, you know, modest car, maybe one that's a little, has a little fun involved. And you've probably seen our other videos where we've been pursuing those cars. Check them out. I'll put a link up here. EV makers, it says, might take a major hit due to the com combination of soaring energy costs and high prices that put many consumers out of reach. Yahoo Finance is noting that. In January, Elon Musk's Tesla slashed the price of its cars by up to 8,000 pounds in the UK. Some of its cheaper models are now around the same price range as mass market brands such as Kia. There's a good sign for electric vehicle uh, folks. Ford Motor Company and Lucid are among the other car manufacturers that have reacted to Tesla's cuts by lowering their own EV prices, according to the Proactive Investors website. Meanwhile, there is already evidence that car prices across all segments have softened. The latest data from Cox Automotive released on Friday, today, April 7th, showed that wholesale used vehicle prices in March fell 2.4%. Good deal for us. So from the early year earlier, 2.4% from a year earlier, although they did take up 1.5% from the previous month. So not so good. Mixed news here. A March 23 report from Kelly Blue Book found that a new vehicle that new vehicle prices dropped for 3 straight months and that it's starting to look like a sustained trend. Even so, prices remain historically high. Well, news flash to us, don't we know that? Okay, so we're Seeing in the reports today that prices are supposedly going to be coming down, but from an already high baseline to begin with here. So um, check out the video that we just posted where we are trying to find fun transportation that is also frugal in these times where we don't know which way this is going. Is inflation going to rocket forward? to greater heights or is the Fed going to come in and squash that inflation and potentially cause a recession or worse? Your guess is good, as good as mine. I'm not a financial analyst, but I am listening to those that say they are and there's a lot of chatter going on with this. So keep in touch. Keep your ears to the rail. We will do so here as well. Check back in. And make sure you like us, subscribe, and leave a comment. What do you think? Prices going up? Or are they going down? Or staying where they're at, which is already high. See you next time.